Knock, knock. Come in, Nora. Oh, hi, darling. How are you? You look awful. Thank you so much. I have had the worst morning of my life. Do you have any stevia? First of all, the butler's on vacation, so I had to take the kids to school by myself, which made me 15 minutes late for my manicurist appointment. 15 minutes late. I pay the lady $150, and what does she say to me? We have to be quick. We have to be quick for $150. She should be coming to my house. And after that, I get a call from the homeowners association. The homeowners association wants to charge me $500. Honey, I have to ask, have you spoken to anyone since that incident? Nora, stop. Honey, but I have the best specialist. I don't need a specialist. But honey, I go to him once a week myself. You remember the turbulence on the plane and when I went to the Bahamas and I couldn't even come home? What? You're not even listening to me. Are you? Are you kidding me? Again with the bugs? That's it. I don't need your permission. I'm calling him. He's on his way. Oh, what the hell? I don't need your doctor. I need an exterminator! So you're gonna try and tell me that a bug ate your sandwich? Thank you for coming on such short notice. Who is she? You gotta see this one for yourself. Lauren. Lauren. This is the man I was telling you about. Lauren? I don't think we're going to need this. I'm doctor. Unless you brought a fucking shotgun with you, I don't need you. What do you think you need a shotgun for? Maybe for the cat-sized roach that just ate my lunch. Do you... See them now? Not right now. Could be taking a nap. All right. I, I handle a lot of patients that have post-traumatic stress. It, 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 and it may be triggered from, let's just say, a, a tragic event or, or something that violently happened to but you as a child. But you told him? Lauren, I had to. You didn't have any business telling that to anybody and it's Nora, got nothing Nora, to do with just what's going go, on here. Oh, just Bye. powder your nose. All right, oh, lost Lord, just calm down. We can talk about this rationally and calmly. You have to trust me, all right? Here, let me, well then at least please come to the couch. If you think you really are seeing this, whether it's just all in, in your mind, that imagination, whether this is fact or fantasy, no one knows. Only you. I, I just need to know more. I need to know more about that night. What happened, Lauren? Look back and tell me how many.
four. Who cares? A psychosomatic symptom may, well, may at times bring a parallel to, to what you're actually feeling. The, the arms and legs of these men who did this horrible, horrible thing to you may, may be coming back as a, some sort of a metamorphosis in, in, in a, what would you call a beetle? Lauren, do you see one now? Yep. Where is it? Right above your head. Right now I'm, I'm going to turn around and look. diagnosis for that. <laughs>